once again in Papua New Guinea, a sport springs anew as go-kart racing competition flourishes in Port Moresby. Our correspondent Echo Hortelese Quinola is back to share more on this exciting game. Go ahead, Echo. The go-kart race competition sponsored by Moniplus and Digicel PNG Limited was performed right here in ATS 8 Mile Papua New Guinea Defense Force Hangar where trills, spills, and nerve-wracking race was witnessed. Go-kart racing has once again flourished in Port Moresby after being seized for almost eight years. The go-kart club is headed by the Lamana Hotel General Manager Yanis Nicolo, who is also a racer himself and together with the members organized this event with so much passion planning and preparation according to Nicolau, the racers were composed of several nationalities such as australians new zealanders filipinos papua new guineans and greeks we started again this year the preparations um, started uh, from last year um, we have uh, got uh, a committee, the Port Moresby Card Club. I've uh, been having meetings uh, till we got a good number of uh, drivers. And as you can see, today is the, uh, the second uh, race uh, for the season. The majority is Australians. Uh, there is a couple of uh, New Zealanders. There, there is three is, Filipinos, uh, two, two locals, and, uh, and a Greek one, which is me. <laughs> Well, it's doing, uh, we're doing well. Uh, it's, uh, this is a successful event and uh, we want to get as many Papua New Guineans uh, involved in this as possible and Filipinos, of course. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, we want to get as many people involved in this as, uh, as possible. Exciting. It's something yeah. to do on the weekend with the family. So yeah, Definitely. come out and watch. It's very exhilarating and um, yeah, find a team to support. There's a lot of drivers. <laughs> There will be a 12-week competitive series that will go on every two weeks until October 2021. There are 25 racers that are shared among 20 go-karts. The competition started with qualifying races from normal lap to fast lap. The battle heated up when racers competed to outshine one another with an impressive performance. The managing director of On Track Solutions, Chris Chan, attained first place, while Colin Blondell placed second. A Filipino racer and the owner of Digital Billboard got the third spot, who is not only into his high level of motorsports, but also a passionate and keen undersea diver. I, I think any any man who likes the speed would like anything, whether it's go kart, motorcycle anything like that, anything fast, yeah, like yeah. with any uh, competitive sports, right, like um, in the beginning, uh, you're apprehensive all the way to the lead up to the actual race day, come race day, you get the jitters, you're nervous, you're not very talkative, you don't really want to talk to people, you're just thinking about what you're going to do and how you're going to do it, and as soon as that flag goes, you sit in that cart and that flag goes down, Things change. Your adrenaline kicks in. What I call a hyper mode, where you just focus. You don't see anything else. You see the cart around. You see the races, and you try to pick your line. Try not to get bumped, and try to avoid. And where you're gonna attack? Where you're gonna um, turn? Where your breaking point is? It's just automatic after that. You you don't even think about it. You don't have to be the best of everything, but you should try and. Um, do as much as you can while you're on earth that's what i reckon uh, that's how i live my life by i don't go out to win a race uh, i get lucky sometimes but i go out there and have fun and that's all i do all the time i have fun that's why i do all my little sports i, I go out and fun I'm never gonna be rich but i'm gonna be happy go-kart racing is considered to be a stepping stone to polish and tailor racing skills now is the time to showcase your talent the Go-Kart Club here in Papua New Guinea is promoting this sport to all interested citizens and non-citizens here in Papua New Guinea. Reporting from Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea, this is Echo Hortaleza Quinola, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Thanks again, Echo. That sure is one sport more people will look forward to.